These images will probably make IDF commanders along the northern border feel a bit relieved. Lebanese troops are preventing a group of Hezbollah supporters from protesting near the border fence. The protesters want to lift a poster against Condoleezza Rice, who's visiting the region. Lebanese troops wearing black berets and unifil are preventing this protest and remove them from the fence. This is another sector where the IDF is still having troubles. This is what the Lebanese side of the Rajar village looks like. It's the only area where there's still IDF soldiers. The Israeli reporters are not allowed to enter this sector. But look who's walking around the village, a reporter of Hezbollah's TV channel, Al Manar. The reporter looks around and finds an IDF helmet. He speaks with the soldiers posted nearby, anything to show how easy it is for Hezbollah to infiltrate back in. IDF spokesman said they won't prevent anyone from entering the northern part of the village, especially not the press. Their only mission, they say, is to protect the southern part. The IDF wants UNIFIL to take responsibility over the northern part of the Rajar village and that the Lebanese army will be spread outside the village. To this point, this hasn't happened, so IDF soldiers remain inside the village. Despite the encouraging conduct of the Lebanese army, the IDF still lacks clear regulations for opening fire and there's nothing it can do against protesters if the Lebanese army chooses not to intervene.